Then I get some random bitch saying she's gonna whip my ass. I do not take that lightly. So. What it do? It's that boy Drew 22. Today, today I'm finally, finally doing the How We Met story time. Guys, I know it's been a long journey. It's been like three years and I have never, ever told this story. Today we're finally going to tell the <laughs> story, guys. So basically, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Why haven't you subscribed yet? And most importantly, make sure you turn that post notification because when you turn it on, I turn you <laughs> on. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is what's going to happen. We are doing a story time on how we met for the first time ever. I know over the past years, I always say we're going to be doing a story time. But in the middle of the story time, I always prank destiny. I've been doing that forever. You really have. So I don't know what's going on. With this one, so maybe I am about to prank you. Sadly, guys, no, I'm not pranking her in this video. I noticed over the years, I've been looking through my videos, and every video I do, most of them are pranks. All of, all the videos I do are pranks on Destiny, and I kind of thought you guys don't even really know me or Destiny. You guys just know us from the videos. From the videos that I like, you guys know us from the videos. Of me pranking Destiny. Yeah. So it's like you guys don't even know who we are, basically. You just know that we prank each other. Yeah. That's true. So I noticed that I read all your DMs, guys. A lot of you guys asked me do a story time or to switch it up, do something different. Guys, my main goal for every video. <laughs> guys, my main goal for every video I do is to make you guys laugh, smile, or forget about your problems. So Every video I always make, I always try to make it into like a comedy, funny, prank, whatever you want to call it. I always want to make you guys laugh. But I noticed, I've been reading a lot of your DMs, and a lot of your DMs are saying that, do something different. You guys, I realize you guys don't always want to see me pranking Destiny. You guys want to see me doing different things, like a story time, or maybe just a vlog. Like, I don't always have to do a funny prank. And I read that, and I thought about it. It's true. I don't always have to go down that route. So... Let me know what you think in the comment section. I might switch up my stuff. I might not always do pranks. I'm gonna do story times, vlogs, and everything else that doesn't always have to be funny. You know what I'm saying? So all that being said, I'm doing a story time on how we met. Now, to start this story off, I'm gonna let Destiny start the story. No. Yeah. You do it. Start the story, Destiny. You start it. Right here. Okay. You start it. You're a better storyteller. I'm gonna be going and then and then. So guys, now it's time to get to know us personally. I'm going to be dropping certain videos just so you know who we are, just so you know who that boy Drew 22 really is and Destiny because at the end of the day, all I drop is prank videos. You guys are telling me you want different stuff. You guys really want to know who we are. So I'm inviting you guys in personally to get to know who we are. I sound like I was about to cry. To, I'm inviting you guys in. To, I'm inviting you guys in personally to get to know who we really are other than pranks so so let me know in the comment section if you think that's a good idea or if you keep wanting me to do pranks just let me know so with all that being said let's get to the story time guys i'm gonna let you know right before we start the story i'm letting you know right now this is juicy this story is super juicy so number one i'm gonna need you to grab your popcorn and number two get comfortable get cozy you know get all tucked in in your blanket because this is going to be juicy And number three, make sure there's no distractions. Make sure there's nobody around while you're watching this because this is about to get super juicy. That kind of makes it sound like you're gonna watch something like nasty and dirty. But okay. It does, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, forget that. Number three, make sure you pay close attention to detail. Everything I'm telling you in this story is important. Everything Destiny tells you in this story is important. So you have to listen, guys. I'm telling you, this story is crazy. That's it. Are you ready? Press F to start the story. Let's get to the story. All right, guys, for the first time ever, we're about to tell you a story for, it's been like three years, so I'm counting. This is the, this is the first time I'm telling you guys a story. So let's start right 
now. Guys, I'm going to tell you the story. It's all going to add up. Just listen. Desi might cut in if you agree or disagree. Yes. So just listen. It might take a minute, but it's all going to add up. Let's start. So the story starts in 2016, 2017, somewhere around that year. I don't really know. Fact check? Yes. Okay, 20, whatever. Basically what happened was I, my friend and my family, went to Halloween Horror Nights on October 28th. Fact check. Yes. Guys, I'm gonna be fact checking a lot just so we know we're on the same page. So what happened was, we went on this trip, me, my friend, and my family, to Halloween Horror Nights on October 28th. While we're at Halloween Horror Nights, we discovered, me and my friend discovered that one of the girls that we went to high school with was there, and my friend was trying to talk to her. So what he did, oh sorry, it was what he fun. did is he told me, yo, I'm gonna go try to talk to her. I'll see you guys later. Now remember guys, Halloween Horror Nights is packed. It's huge. So I told him, I said, if you're gonna talk to her, just know I might not see you for the rest of the night. Guys, I'm going to be using the name Dave for my friend. That's not his actual name. I don't want to name drop anybody. So we're gonna use Dave so it's less confusing. So I told Dave, listen, don't worry about if you can't get a ride home, you can literally walk to the hotel. It's literally across the street. So if you can't get into contact with me and we can't find each other, just know when the park closes, walk to the hotel room, you can call me, I'll answer, I'll let you in. I told Dave, I'm going to text you an hour before the park closes. This way you can know to meet me in our spot that we previously talked about. We were going to meet at the front entrance on the left side, right where the Universal Ball is. I don't know if you guys know where that is. I told him, we both agreed, we both had a mutual agreement that we were both going to meet there an hour before. He said okay, I said okay, that was it, we parted ways. Right when we were walking to the Halloween Horror Nights, he went that way, I went this way. That was it. I, haven't, I didn't see him the whole night. Now, nah, this is where the shit gets kind of interesting. At that time, I was with my ex-girlfriend at the time. So, I wasn't really looking for anybody, you know, I was chilling, doing my own thing. My friend Dave was trying to talk to some girl, whatever. The night's going good, we're going into Halloween Horror Nights, we're going into the haunted houses, we're doing everything. So this is where the park starts to close. The park closes at what time? Oh, 30, 12. Let's just say 12. I don't remember the time specifically. Let's just say 12. So I, I had texted him at 11. I said, yo, the park's closing in an hour. I'm, this is your warning right now. We're getting ready to leave. Not right this second, but I'm just letting you know that start like coming to the exit, start meeting up with me so we can go to the hotel. No answer. 10 minutes later, no answer. So I'm like, all right, whatever. He's probably on a ride, whatever. I text him again. Yo, I'm just letting you know, like, you gotta answer me back. We're leaving at 12 on the dot. If you're not with us, we're leaving you. That's it. 11.30 comes. No answer. So I'm like, yo, this man is not answering me. 11.45 comes. No answer. I'm like, yo. I texted him, like, 15 times already. He's not answering the phone. I'm texting him. When 12 hits, we're leaving. Like, we're not staying for you. I told my family, they're not waiting. Nobody's waiting for you. So you have to come with us or you're getting left. And you're gonna have to walk. It's probably like a 10-minute walk. That's it. Okay, 1150 comes, no answer. I'm like, what the f This guy's not answering his phone, nothing. 12 o'clock comes, no answer. I'm telling my family, yo, wait, wait like five more minutes. Wait 10 more minutes, because maybe he's just like doing something. Guys, we waited till 1230. The park was already closed. We're waiting 30 minutes extra, no answer. At this point, I thought he either got shot or he got kidnapped. There's no in between. There's just no in between. So, this is what we did. I texted him one last time. I said, we're leaving. You're going to have to walk. That's it. Right when we get in our Uber and we start driving, two minutes in, my phone rings, bing! I'm like, it says, yo, I'm at the entrance, where are you at? <laughs> Guys, it's like 12.45 at this point. It's already like an hour past closing, 45 minutes past closing, and now he wants to text me. I said, yo, you missed it. I texted you so many times, you didn't answer me. That's it, it's over. He said, yeah, he was on a ride and his phone was in a locker, so he couldn't get it. <laughs> Fact check? Yes. So, this is what happens. I told him, too bad, too sad, whatever, can't do nothing for you. I waited 45 minutes extra. I stalled so long and had my family wait for you and you still didn't come. So you're, you're gone, you're left. Now you have to walk. You know where the hotel is, we sent you the address. Just walk there. So what ends up happening, we go to the hotel, me and my family, my ex are there, we're at the hotel, everything's good. My phone starts ringing. I pick it up, hello? All of a sudden, I hear him going, yo, like, Andrew, like, why'd you leave me, man? Like, where are you at? In the middle of him talking, the phone gets snatched. I heard like, and I'm like, what? Immediately, I hear a girl start snapping at me on the phone. Why the f did you leave your friend here? Da -da, why would you f do that shit? You're f up. Da -da -da, that's f now we're gonna have to take him home. Now it's our responsibility. Why the f do And she's yelling at me at full force, right? 
going off. And I'm on speakerphone and my, my ex is right next to me. So you could clearly hear a woman voice yelling at me and my ex hears that. She's like, who's that? So then I, I put it off speakerphone and I put it to me and I can walk out the hotel room. So I'm trying to solve the problem. I'm not trying to have no, no one fight or nothing. I'm trying to get my friend back to the hotel room. So I put off speakerphone, I walk out the hotel room door and I'm like on the phone, I'm talking and the yelling keeps coming. No, that's f it. I'm going, okay, listen, listen. No, I don't care. At the same time, my ex starts approaching more Getting closer to the phone, saying, "Let me talk to her." Let me talk. I'm going, "No, hon, relax, relax. Let me, let me try to get the situation calmed down." So, as I'm telling you, you could drop them off at the hotel. We're literally across the street. It's a two-minute drive. She starts yelling on the phone. Now, f that. That give us ten dollars. Send us ten dollars, and we're, or we're not dropping him off. You can come pick him up. And at this time, guys, it was late. At that time, I didn't even drive a car, so I couldn't even pick him up myself. So I didn't even drive. So I'm like, "No, no, just come to the hotel, and we, we can solve something." No, no f that. Ten dollars, or we're not coming. So I'm like, "Okay, ten dollars. I'll give you ten dollars. Whatever." Hangs up. When I hang up, my ex is going, what's that? No, why is she yelling at you? No, you shouldn't let someone yell at you. No, a female yelling at you, that'll beat her ass. All this and that, right? So, what ends up happening is I say, relax. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna go in the elevator, go downstairs. I'm gonna meet them. They told me they're gonna meet me in the front. And I'm just gonna either not give them the money or just get my friend and then we're gonna run back to the hotel room. So, I told her to wait in the room. I'll be back in five minutes. Like Chris Tucker said in Rush Hour. Wait here. I'll be back. <laughs> wait right here. I'll be right back. Literally, I'll be back. Just wait here. She says, okay. I go in the elevator. I'm walking in the lobby. I stopped, for, I stopped in the lobby for some reason. I think I tied my shoe or something. I don't know. But who do I hear in the background? My ex coming behind me. I'm going, oh my God. I just told you, wait. Now, I don't want nobody fighting. My ex just heard some random girl yelling at me on the phone saying, I'm f***ed up. This, that. I'm going to have to give her $10. So there's already tension, right? Bing! My phone rings. My friend Dave says, yo, I'm outside. Where you at? I tell, I tell my ex, relax. We're about to go outside. They're there. All I know is the girl who's yelling at me on the phone is outside. So relax and let's go get my friend, go upstairs, and everything's gonna be done. This is what happened. We walk towards the doors, they open, right? We go straight, we make a right. We turn right, now we're outside the building. As soon as we make that right, I see three people walking from the, in the distance. This time at night, it was foggy, I couldn't really see shit. So I see them walking, so as they're getting closer, who do I see all the way to the right side, walking all the way to the right? Who do I see? Guys, it's destiny. Okay. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before I let you speak, give me one sec. <laughs> Guys, in the voice of the girl yelling at me on the phone matched the voice that was coming from this body. So it was confirmed that it was destiny yelling there at me on the phone. There was reason why I was upset. Now, I'm going to pause, let her tell her side for a sec, and then I'm going to continue my story. Go. Okay. Let me tell you my side real quick. Okay, like we said, 2016, 2017. So it was October 28th, me and my friend decided to go to Halloween Horror Nights. I'm gonna call her Ashley, okay? Cause, so me and Ashley decided to go to Halloween Horror Nights last second, the same day as them, but we didn't know they were gonna be there. And, um... Yeah guys, it was super spontaneous. Yeah, it was we very We didn't know weird. that they were gonna be there at all. We just, me and my friends, my family decided to go, and it just so happened that they went yeah. at the same time. I so we go to Halloween Horror Nights, and as soon as we get into Halloween Horror Nights, keep keep in mind, I don't know who he is. I don't know who this person is. We're strangers, is. guys. We're, We're strangers. strangers. I've heard of him from my friend, Ashley, because the guy... Dave is friends with him, so yeah. that's how. Um, so we're in Halloween Horror Nights, we go through a couple of haunted houses, and then after like the second house, um, my friend gets a phone call from Dave saying, hey, like, I know you guys are here, like, can we, can I come and hang out with you guys? And she was like, no, because she didn't really like him because he was always annoying towards her or to her and me. Like, we both thought he was really annoying, but he really liked Ashley, so she was like, whatever, just like, don't annoy me, like, don't say anything that I don't like, blah, 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 like that little spiel. So he ended up finding where our house, the haunted house we were at were, which I don't know how because again, it's a huge park. Thought, we thought it was very creepy. We, we were like, what the heck is this guy stalking us? So we're like, whatever. So we let it slide. So he's with us the entire night. Keep in mind, like me and her just wanted to go because I had recently had just broke up with my ex at the time and we were just, you know, just getting out there and getting some space, getting, getting some air and having some fun. So she was like, let's go to Holly Horn. So we went. So he was there with us the entire night. Keep in mind, that's like what? Like six, six hours? Plus, yeah. Six, six seven hours. hours of like from the opening to end. And there's hundreds of thousands of people there probably. So he's with us the whole time. And when I tell you this man was annoying, I don't know how he's your friend. Hey, man. This man was the most annoyingest person I've met and hung out in my entire life. 
And I'm annoying too, I could say that, but like he was like on some like some level. I don't I don't know how you deal with that. So it's cool. He was trying to it's cool with me, I, yeah. He I was know. trying to maybe because like he's trying to talk to like my friends, so he would act a yeah, different way. Probably. So he was trying to talk to her the whole entire night. So he was following us the whole night and then like we go on this one ride, it's called Rip what is it? Ripid Rocket or something? Ripid So we're waiting in line for that and then we have to put our phones and our electronic devices in a locker. So remember Andrew was texting him. His phone so was in the locker. That's why he wasn't responding. He was in the Ripid Rocket. And guys, if you don't know, that line takes it takes so long to get on the actual ride. Like the line it's popular. The line lasts for like three hours, literally. Like And you don't you can't have your phone or anything because like in the beginning you have to put your phone in the locker. Yeah. So keep in mind his phone's in the locker, he's texting him like they're leaving and stuff like that. And we don't know. We're in that line for like three hours, so as soon as we get off the ride, we get our phones, and then he goes, oh shit, like, my ride, like, left me, like, you know, we have to go to the front to see if they were there, but we got to the front and they weren't there. I texted him an hour before saying, so, you gotta go, we gotta then go. That, that's when I get annoyed, and I'm frustrated because I'm like, this kid's already annoying the hell out of us tonight, like, I just wanted to have fun tonight. So, Ashley, she's like one of those nice people that, like, when she's annoyed, like, she won't say anything, but me and other hand, like, I'm gonna say something, like, Oh um, yeah, you definitely are gonna say something. <laughs> like, cause like, imagine having someone in your ear in a different city the whole night, like hours away from home, like you just want them to get away but they can't. We go to the front and they're not there and then that's when I'm like, alright, you need to call your friend, like tell them to come and pick you up cause like, we're not gonna take you to the hotel, I don't care if it's two seconds away, if it's a step away, like, we just want to go straight home cause like, the, it was like two hours away from home so it was, what, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, we just wanted to go home cause we did Wait, not- Wait, you guys in a hotel room? No. Damn, I didn't know that. <laughs> Shit, so, that explains why you're yelling at me on the phone. So, I'm tired, she's tired, and she was driving, so at that point, like, I'm tired, I'm hungry, like, I just want to leave. And I don't care if the hotel was across the street, I'm sorry. It, guys, it was literally like, watch, ready? You're there. <laughs> That's how close it was. It wasn't like that I'm gonna close pull up, I just right here. I'm gonna pull a picture of literally how far the distance is, right here. So, it's close, guys. I don't understand. Continue. Just continue. So he's on the phone whining to him, saying, They're not gonna ding me. Being a little bitch. Being so annoying, saying, I don't have a ride. I don't want to walk. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Oh, little bitch. So, yeah. your friend. So, um, I hear him whining and complaining, and I hear him on the phone, but I didn't know it was him at the time, saying, Just tell him to bring you. Like, it's not that far, blah, blah. blah. So at that moment, I snatched the phone from him. And that explains it. Yeah, Sound I effect. snatched a phone from him, and I was like, look, you need to come get your friend right now, or we're just going to leave him. It was not like it. that. Well, obviously I'm going to be, I'm, I'm yelling. No, 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 do it exactly how you did it, go. Well, I can't. I'm not upset right now. <laughs> do it, I want them to hear exactly what I heard on the phone. Okay, it was something like, you need to get your friend right now, because we're going to leave him here, and I'm going to go how far the whole time. It was like that. It was a like little, Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more, but louder. Yeah. So then he's like quiet on the phone. He goes, can you just bring him? Like it's wait, not that far. Wait. Guys, have you ever like been on the phone and someone yells so loud you had to do like this shit? Like, talking and then it's like, Duh -duh -duh. like, it was so loud that I like, literally heard like, I like saw like particles come out of my phone. That's how loud, I was like, I saw like the particles like flying out. I'm like, who's yelling at me like this? Continue. So I'm yelling at him and then I hear his ex start yelling and she's like, Oh, who is that? Like, she shouldn't be talking to you like that. Like, I'm gonna whoop her ass. And as soon as I heard that, I was just like, even more upset. Cause I have Dave being annoying as <laughs> in my ear for six hours straight. And then I get some random bitch saying she's gonna whoop my ass. I do not take that lightly. So that's when I got more upset. I disregarded what she said. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna see her in like, what, two minutes? Cause the hotel's right there, so I'm just oh, like, so that motivated I'm just like, oh, that, no, that, that motivated no, you to that come. Did oh my god, now it makes sense. That motivated now it makes perfect sense. No one says they're gonna whip my ass. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. That's not gonna happen with me. So I said, okay, well, give us gas money. Give us like, it was five bucks. It wasn't even ten dollars. It was five bucks. I remember you. I probably still have that five bucks. It looked like it was up your ass. That five dollar bill. It was so ripped up, brown. I was and nervous. <laughs> I was nervous to go out and see the person who was saying they're going to whoop my ass and my ex's ass if I don't give them the money. First of all, I never said that. It, she it said basically that to me. sounded like you said that. She said that to me, so then that's when I was like, okay. If it was 10 or 5. I'm not going to argue that fact. It, it was, was five. either 5 or 10. It was 5. 5 or 10, it doesn't matter. It was 5. But anyway, so... Why would you argue over 5 bucks? Let me finish. 
Spanish. It Go was ahead. about the principal giving like driving. It was that gas, five dollar gas. You know. It wasn't even far. I don't care. Look, if you had this man in your ear for six hours straight, whining and complaining, acting like a little girl, then okay. But like, and guys, at that time. Remember, 2017, 2016, Trump was president, so the gas price was like a dollar, literally. I don't care. So it don't even matter. I don't care who was president, the gas price is not I don't care about the presidents bucks. either, but I'm just letting them know because it's, that was Give so, that. listen, that was so long ago. I'm trying to let them know what time frame it was. Like, yeah, and now we're You guys gotta realize, this shit was a long time ago. Like, gas was a dollar. Not even, it's like 98 cents at that point. Well, at the time, that $5 put a dent in our, you know, tank, but that $5 now doesn't, so that doesn't matter. Um, so anyways, we pulled up to the hotel, like he said, it was foggy, it was a foggy night. We pulled up to the hotel and, I don't know if you guys know the double tree, there's two giant buildings, so we went to the opposite building, so that wasn't the entrance building, like this side was the entrance building. So we parked in front of it and then we had to walk, like, like two minutes, maybe a minute. So we had to walk and then like, as soon as we're walking, like I see him come out. So I'm like, okay, his girlfriend's not coming out, so it is what it is. Because I'm not going to go up to the hotel room and be like, boom, 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 you said you're going to want my... No. So I see him come out, right? So as soon as we get closer, I see a little figure walking behind him, thinking like, you know, she's like all that. And then she comes and stands next to him like this. So I'm like, okay, disregard her, let me talk to you, which is him. I said, you, why did you leave him with us for the whole six hours? And as soon as I said that, she cut me off. She cut me off. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, no. let me resume. Let me resume my part. Okay, no. you, you had brought it up. You you had told your your part. So guys, the, on the voice confirmed that it was destiny, guys. I saw her walking up. I said, oh shit. <laughs> so I said, oh shit, alright, it's about to go down. At this point, I'm walking up. They had said they wanted 10 or 5. I don't remember what what it was. But we start I start walking up to her, right? And to my friend and then another girl. There's three of them. There was Ashley. My friend Dave and then Destiny, three, walking up. And I'm by myself. And I'm like, oh shit. So I'm walking, and as soon as I get up to them, I see my friend Dave go, hey. I'm looking at him like, man, look what the f you got me in now. Now you got my ex about to fight some random stranger because you didn't pick up your phone. Like, now look where, I like, you know what I'm saying? So he goes, hey. It would have never been a me and her problem if she would have stood out of it. So I said, he was like, hey. I'm like, what's up? Like, it was like, a, it was, guys, it was like a drug deal. Like, literally, like, it was like awkward. I, well, I don't remember the full conversation because at that point my mind went blank. Destiny will tell you more of the conversation, but I just remember my ex snapping, saying something, and then Destiny saying something, and then, like, I had handed them the money, and then, like, they exchanged my friend Dave, and, like, we just went inside. You can brush up the story better about that specific uh, detail. I don't really remember, but this is basically what happened. I walk up, my friend Dave goes, Hey, I go, What's up? Destiny goes, You got the money? It was something like, You got the money? And I'm like, I literally, it didn't I, sound like that. She's like, you got the, you got the money now. I, I, no. I literally put my hand in my pocket like this. In your ass. And then I was like, all shaking and shit. I'm like, and shit, took it. I'm like, and then they pushed my friend Dave and like, I grabbed Dave and like, they like, walked away. I think Destiny like snapped or said something like, I grabbed my friend Dave and Max and we like walked in the hotel room. It did not go now, that like that. Now continue your side. Cause that's how, how it went somehow. Okay, yeah. so I left off where I said that we met up and then like his ex went like this and started staring me down and then I, I was like disregard her I'm talking to you so I was telling Andrew why the fuck did you leave him with us the whole night he's very annoying and now give me the five dollars or give my friend actually the five dollars because she's not gonna ask because she's very nice for her gas tank from the ride from here to there and then he goes so guys to cut her off real quick and interrupt her rudely I'm gonna say this so she can, so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. Now, I had, I had never dealt with a vibrant personality like this. A Hispanic. Okay, I don't wanna, okay. I've never dealt with someone like that. So, my ex was white, so you know, she kinda had like that Karen attitude, like, Andrew, I'm not going, type vibe. So, when, we, when I heard the, this like vibrant attitude come, I was like, It must have turned you on, cause. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, I was like, what the hell? I, I didn't know how to respond, like, so, like, I was just, like, I didn't know what to say or do. Like, I was, like, frozen. I was stuck, basically, because i never seen that or dealt with that, so that's just a little detail added in. Continue. Okay, so as soon as I tell Andrew, why did you leave us with him, give me the $5, she interrupts me, she interrupts me, and goes, well, he f***ing left us, just like that. And I literally- Okay, I, okay, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Alright, 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 hold on, hold on. I re okay, now it's coming back to me. Okay, okay. 
That's exactly how it went down, guys. That's ex damn. That shit is exactly how it went down. You just made me have a flashback. I'm about to start shaking again. I'm about to start sweating up in this bitch. So she was like, turn the fans on and shit. I'm getting hot. Listen. So she was like, you like that, like that, and then which like, is true. He did leave us. Don't care. And then as soon as she cut me off and said that, I looked at her and I literally was like, bitch, shut the fuck up. No one was fucking talking to you. And then like she kind of went, and like like her face was like. And she like so quiet. And guys, back in the day, like I was a little hothead. Like I would, I'll get mad easily, but I'm not like that now. So that's exactly how it went down. I, so, now I'm starting, to I'm starting to remember, like, deep, like vividly. Continue. Holy shit. So yeah, I told her to shut up. Shut the f up. No one was talking to you. And I turned to him, Andrew, and I was like, "Give me the five dollars." And I turned to my friend Ashley. I said, "Once he gives us the five dollars, let's get the." F out of here because I'm gonna beat her ass in another state or not a state another city and I'm gonna go to jail in another city and nobody has bail money for me so she looked at me and she was like okay I'm um, like she's like she's like all nervous and like jittery and she's just like can we just please get the five dollars so Andrew goes to hand her the five dollars but I snatched that shit real quick and then I pushed Dave right into them and then like then as when I'm walking away I hear his little chihuahua Karen ass girlfriend go I hate that bitch. And then, 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 like, just, just, you know, keep running her off as soon as I walk away. But when I told you to shut the f up, you didn't say nothing, so. But that's fine. So we're walking away, and she says that. And then I go to turn around again, but, you know, at the time, Ashley was just like, no, 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 just, like, leave it. Like, she's not worth it. And I was like, exactly. She's not worth it. She's not on my level, so bye. So we ended up leaving, got in the car. Now go and switch to your story. Guys, I handed her the money. I was, like, shaking this shit. I was, like, all of a sudden... <laughs> It was, like, it was like a python. You guys ever seen like, like when you go to feed a python? They're like, whoosh, like they come in, like go back, like strike real quick. It was like, dude, let's let's do it real quick. Let's do this. Dead ass. This like, how it went down. It's a five dollar bill. This how it went down. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that, and I was like, now remember, this is a, a little five one five two Latina girl that's like probably one twenty while wet, like small, <laughs> like. And you got me, 6'3", I'm sitting over here like, just looking down, but for some reason I was like, like that, you know what I'm saying? I could've easily just grab my shit and said, man, you ain't getting shit. But yeah, you, you, he was not like, give my money. This but guys, was nah. pooping on himself. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was shit on myself. So I was like, I was more scared, I, I would've been better if I was by myself, I'm not gonna lie. But since she was there, it was more, I was more nervous because I didn't want. Yeah, because she don't be threatening people. Threatening so I, people she don't know. Because I didn't want, I didn't want people fighting. Guys, if I was by myself, I probably would have been like, I probably would have negotiated like, guys, you're not getting your five. Because I know no girl's gonna fight me. I'm a guy. Like, I would probably have said like, you're not getting your five. The hotel's literally right across the street. But since like, my ex popped out and like, I had the five ready just in case. But like, she popped out. I didn't want nobody fighting. So like, my only alternative was to <laughs> literally. So. Continue your side, or is it my side? It's your side because I said we left. Okay, guys. Your, your hotel side, what happened in the hotel. So Destiny grabs the money. Can we fact check that you were yelling at me on the phone? I already did, yeah. Okay, cool. So Destiny grabs the money. Her and her friend, Ashley, who I went to high school with, you left that part out. I went to high school, I had a couple classes with her. I wasn't really close, but she was my biology uh, partner for uh, like three, four months when we were in class. So I didn't know her on like somewhat personal level. I didn't really know you. But I knew her on a personal, like, not personal, like, somewhat, like, as, like, a, a like, and back in those days, guys, I didn't really do, like, my classwork, like, on time. I was a, I was a bad student, so I'd always text her, and she was a great student, so I'd always text her, like, can I get the homework for last night? I didn't do it, and she would send me, like, the picture, and I would just, like, I would just do it, and, like, copy her, and she was cool with it. So, keep that in mind. So, they go and leave. We walk into, back into the hotel lobby, and I'm sitting there, and, um, my ex starts going off, going, why would you get five? No, get that money back. They don't need five. Da -da -da -da. She's going off. I'm literally like, like I'm, I'm in a different like zone right now. Like, I don't want to hear nobody talk. I just want to process what the fuck just happened. And I want to know that I'm safe in the hotel lobby. And nothing's about to happen. Like, I, I kept thinking Destiny was going to come out around the side of the building like a baseball bat. And then hit my ex and hit me. Like So I was just like... I wouldn't hit you. I was, like, I was like this. Like, turning my back every five seconds. And I had my ex yelling, No, why'd you give him, why'd you give him the money? Why? So I'm like, please just stop. Like, let me just think. I look over, I see my friend Dave across the hotel lobby, like doing this. <laughs> like that, doing that movement. I'm like, what was going on with Dave? Mike's like, I don't care about him. I care about the money. Why would you give him? So I, I tell her, I say, listen, go upstairs. I'll see you in about five minutes. I can't talk to you right now. My head is just not on straight. 
So she keeps yapping away. Finally, she breaks away and like, goes away. I'm sitting there. I see Dave. I walk into Dave. I go, yo, I'm like, man, what happened? I'm kind of joking. I'm like, what happened, man? And he's like, goes, don't talk to me. And starts crying. Like, runs away. And I'm like, bro. Now, keep in mind, guys. That's what I dealt with for six Guys, hours. keep in mind. We were like, we're not grown men because we were like teenagers, but we're past that stage of like, crying and don't talk to you me. You guys are like 17. Like what? No, we're like, like 17, 16. 18. So he's crying. I'm like, yo, 10th grade probably. He's like crying. I'm like, why is this man crying? So I walk up back. I walk up to my mother. Pick his ass up like this. Why are you crying? And guys, keep in mind, he was like 5'7". So I want to pick him and go, why are you crying? But I'm like, yo, I, I, love it. I went on the softer side. I said, man, what, what, why are you crying? What's going on? And he was like, you know, I really liked Ashley. And tonight was the night I had a chance with her. And I said, dude, you just met her. Literally, guys, he really didn't know her like that. Like, he only knew her from Instagram pictures. And they had, like, texted a couple times, but she, like, they never texted, answered. like, a couple times. She left him on scene. Like, I wish I would have the messages. I'd pop them up right now. I remember he showed me, like, months before we went to Island Arts. He was like, oh, look, I'm trying to get with her. Look, he, he showed me the message. He had swiped up on her picture, like, hard eyes picture, and she put thanks. And then he put... She put THX. She put THX, okay. THX, and he put, what are you doing, cutie? And she literally left him on scene. And then from that point on, he kept trying to text her, and like she would just leave him on red. So I was like, that's dead. Like, you're not gonna do nothing with that. That's like trying to drive a car with no gasoline in the tank. And then crying, saying, oh, we can get somewhere, but you're not letting me. No, I'm not letting. Your, your car doesn't have no gas, bro. You're not going nowhere. So he said, you know, tonight was a night, and I literally blew. So he says, I'm like, I blew my chance with her. I embarrassed myself. And I'm like, bro, get a grip on yourself. You just met this girl. She don't even know you. And we had to deal with that all night. That's on you. He don't really act. He don't act like that around me. I just, that's the first time I've seen him act like that. So I said, man, I want to go. Man, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Like, she doesn't even know you like that. Like, what the, bro? So he's just crying. Oh shit, blaming me. Why would I? Why would I embarrass him like that? Why would I do? I said, you know what? I'm walking away from you. So I, I told him, bro. You can cry in the corner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order pizza. You want pizza? He don't answer me. Okay, more for me. I go to, I go to, I walk away from, across the room because I didn't want to hear him cry. I didn't want to hear nothing. So I go across the lobby, right? I didn't want to go upstairs because my ex was in there. I didn't want to hear that. So I text her. I said, I text her. I said, I'm getting pizza. Do you want some? She didn't reply. You know what? Whatever. I'm in the lobby. I'm sitting down. I'm calling, you know, I'm calling Domino's places. Now remember, guys, this is in Orlando. If you don't know, everything's always booked. Like. Everything's always booked. You can't, you gotta, if you want Domino's pizza, you gotta call at 5 p.m. and they'll bring it to you at like 11 p.m. That's how it works over there. So guys, keep that in mind. I'm sitting there trying to order pizza. I finally, after like 30 minutes, I finally get a guy on Domino's talking to me. Thank you for calling Domino's, how can I help you? I said, thank the Lord. I said, I want two pepperoni pizzas, one cheese stick, one, one by Sunday, <laughs> one cheese thing. I'm saying I want a pepperoni pizza, I want whatever. In the middle of me ordering, another number called my phone. I guess I accidentally answered it by my, with my cheek or something. I don't know how I answered it. Back in that time, I had a shitty iPhone. It was all messed up. My screen was cracked, everything. My iPhone so, 6 plus. Yeah, so literally, I think my cheek like answered it or something. So while I'm talking to the guy, he's going, we'll just complete your order. Give me the address. I'm going, yeah, it's going to be 7 one Boom. Cuts. I'm like, hello, hello, hello. Who do I hear? Hey, this was this is Destiny. Um, we just saw each other literally five minutes ago. I was yelling on the phone. I'm going, I don't give a fuck. I'm hungry. I'm off pizza. Guys, yeah, Destiny yeah. called me saying, basically apologizing, saying I'm sorry, like I'll give you your money back, but he was just annoying us. Like I didn't want to like come off as a bitch. Like I didn't like I'm sorry about it. So I literally said, yeah, look, it's fine, whatever. Da -da 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 -da. Like she's talking, I'm going, okay, yeah, it's fine, like. Whatever, finally she hangs up. I call my pizza guy, my pizza guy's going, hello, 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 you still there? I go, yeah, I'm still here. I order my pizza, my pizza comes through. I mean, my pizza by myself. <laughs> so, fast forward a couple hours, I mean, my pizza, then it hits me. How did she get my number? Why is she calling me? So I text her back, yo, how did you get my number? She says that actually her friend, who I went to high school with, who I had her number, gave me your number. So that confirmed everything. After that, it died off. I blocked her number, didn't talk to her. You didn't block my number? Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I did. Yeah, you did. I did. You did. Don't, don't. You did. Don't try to mess with the crew, because you'll always lose. You did. So I blocked the number. Two years, guys, blocked number. I had called him because I felt bad, because 
it wasn't really his fault, it was his friend's fault, and I was just Thank annoyed you. for six hours. So I felt bad, I called him and I apologized, and I said, I'll give you the money back, like, it's whatever, or, you know, sorry, I apologize, but I'm not sorry about your girlfriend, she still wants it, she can get it, but other than that, I apologize to him. So guys, literally one year after that incident happened, me and my ex broke up, I broke it off. So then a year after that, so two years after that incident, I was like, you know what, Some, something about me getting yelled at, I liked, I like to get yelled at. <laughs> so, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I had seen uh, a post, Ashley's page, she had posted a picture with her, and I was like, wait, wasn't that the girl that was yelling at me at Halloween Horror Nights? Remember guys, at this point, I'm a year single. So a whole year after that, I'm single. So I'm like, let me just try to be funny. Like, I seen her with a post, I'm like, yo, she was yelling at me. Like, I still remember that. So I went to my block contact list, and she was still there as a block number. So I unblocked it and I texted her, I'm like, you remember me? Dot, 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 Sam. She was like, who's this? And I put $5. And she instantly knew who it was. <laughs> it's bag. true. Come back. Guys, all I had to do was put the $5. And she knew it, and I knew she knew what it was because she put the laughing emoji. She knew exactly what it was. So she was like, what's up? And I was like, I don't appreciate how you talked to me back in 2016. That was on call for. And then she was like, oh, do you still want your $5 back? Because I can give it to you. And I'm like, I want more than that $5. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I said, yes, please. But I just used that as a way to like see her. Because I thought she was cute, you know what I'm saying? I thought she was, you know, I thought she was cute at that time. But I couldn't do nothing because I was, I was strapped down. So I couldn't do nothing. But now I've been single for a whole year. Now it's time to go crazy. So I was like, okay, like, I thought she was cute at that time, so I'm like, all right. So I just started texting a little bit, and then that's basically it. Yeah, that is, ever since he texted me that day. And I remember that exact day, too, because I was just driving back down to Florida, and I was on my phone in a car ride for over a day. A car ride for over a day, from Kentucky to Florida. So I had, like, nothing to do, and I was on my phone, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take a nap. So I shut my phone off, I had music in, and then as soon as I, like, laid down, I hear, bing! And that's when I got, you remember me? I think I have, I still have screenshots of that message. Hey. Yeah, that's how we met. That's how we met, literally. It's the first time dropping this video. We have a lot more other, like, fun Guys, stories. Guys, I have way more video. story times. I might drop them. Just tell me in the comment section if you want to hear it. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically the story. I don't know what everyone keeps telling us to do hmm. in my DMs. Our, our first time. I see it so many times. You guys, if you want to see that story, Comment down right now. I'll, I'll, we'll drop that story. That story is even juicier than this that story. Is, that was, yeah, that was so, way better. If you want to know that story time, drop it in the comment section. Drop it in the <laughs> comment section. Our first time doing it, and I'll, I'll do the story time at this point. You know, I'm saying it don't matter to me. All right, guys, that's the end of this story time. If you like this story, give it a like. Give it, you know, comment hashtag five dollars. And oh yeah, here's your five dollars back. Actually. Yeah, actually, that's my own five that I just put on my drawer. So, anyways, guys, comment that and. Uh, We'll see you on the next one. Let's go.